Welcome to TeachPoint User Interface Training. Upon logging into TeachPoint, you will find yourself on your home page, where you will see your district name, your own name, which is also a drop-down menu with an option to log out, and a question mark button that will take you to our help center. On the left-hand side, you will see a series of buttons that we call modes. Users mode is also your home page and it lists all of the users you have access to as well as the documents associated with those users. For your convenience, TeachPoint allows you to sort your users by criteria like name and subject. By default, however, your users are sorted by school. When you click on a particular user, their name gets highlighted in blue in the list of users as well as being displayed above the documents associated with them. The documents can get resorted by simply clicking on the header of the column. These columns provide you with useful information about the documents, including document type, whether it's been shared, reflected upon, signed, whether it has attachments, and the date it was created. Your home page is also the place where you can initiate a form for the selected user. If you've been using TeachPoint for a while, you can also choose to display data from previous years. You can also display deleted documents by clicking on the trash can button. Activity mode can be used to track your and your evaluees activity from the last 30 days. You can open a form or an uploaded piece of evidence by simply clicking on it. Plans mode gives you visibility to your progress and evaluation process. Plans have to be set up for you by your TeachPoint system administrator. Info mode is the place for your TeachPoint system administrator to put any information or instructions as they see fit. Reports mode allows you to display recorded data in a meaningful way. Evaluators can visualize data for an entire district or even a specific user. And the last mode is settings where you can change your existing password. Simply type in a new password and then confirm it. If you use TeachPoint iPad app, you must log out of your iPad before changing your password. And that's all for TeachPoint user interface. Please check out our other videos and have a wonderful day.